this is Riley. So for the last couple of Halloweens, my boyfriend and I have bought pumpkins, which should be normal enough. The first year we lovingly placed our pumpkin on the balcony, waiting for a day that we might want to carve it. And then by the time Christmas rolled around, my boyfriend's dad walked under the deck and said, what's that black thing? So we kind of forgot about it. But actually, more than forgetting about it, it's kind of like when you have leftovers in the fridge. Once it's been a while, but you don't really know if they're still good, there's this nagging feeling inside of you like, they're still good, right? So then because you kind of feel bad, you leave them for a bit longer, telling yourself that you'll eat them the next day, but you never do. And then days later, you know that whatever is still inside of that container is no longer food. It's something else. Something that you really shouldn't eat. And then the guilt that you felt before about not eating the food turns kind of more into a fear of what might be inside of the container. So then the food just sits in your fridge for like a month until you muster up the courage to dump it out because you need the container for something else. Well, that's what happened with our pumpkin. Luckily, this year we were a little bit more successful. We bought two whole pumpkins. Ambitious, right? And one night, I really wanted to make soup with the pumpkin guts. I read online and it tasted good. I wanted to try it. So we cut off the tops pulled off the tops, scooped out all of the guts, used the guts in a soup, put the seeds in the fridge, and then the pumpkin sat in our house for two weeks until they started to mold inside. We didn't carve them. I did make soup, and it was good, but those little jack-o'-lanterns never realized their dream of having a face, and we threw them out because they were gross. But we didn't stop there, I was determined. And we bought another pumpkin. And then... This pumpkin also sat on the counter for two weeks. Now by this time, Halloween was long past and it was too late to put a pumpkin out. So to punish ourselves for not having done anything with this pumpkin, and I, we're, like, it wasn't moldy, we're not gonna throw out a perfectly good pumpkin, this is food, we decided to cook with it. So we peeled it, and we cubed it, and we chopped it all up, and it took forever, and then we baked the seeds, and then we put the guts in a broth, and then we baked the cubes, and then mashed them up with carrots and other random stuff to make a good soup, and then we boiled some of the cubes to make them tender so that we could mash them up for pie filling, and so we made a soup that lasted us three days, and so we started with one pie, and then one pie turned into two pies, and then two pies turned into three pies because we still had a little bit of filling left. And then three pies turned into four pies. And then there's still a little bit of filling left, which is waiting in the fridge to be made into tarts. Along with a big bowl of mashed pumpkin. Like, we have so much pumpkin. Who knew that one pumpkin could make enough food to feed a whole family for two weeks, for goodness sake. So we learned that it is a lot of work to cook a pumpkin. We spent an entire day, our entire Sunday, cooking this pumpkin. We didn't even cook it all. But it made me realize that even though the quality of Halloween pumpkins isn't as good as, say, a sugar pumpkin, pumpkins that are actually made for cooking and not for putting a face on, everything still tasted amazing. The soup was great, the pie was awesome, we shared it with some friends and they can attest to the fact that it was awesome. It just makes me think about how much food we waste every year. So I'm not going to say not to make jack-o'-lanterns because they're fun, they're cute. But if you buy a pumpkin and you don't use it, don't let it go to waste. Cook it up even if it's way after Halloween. Recruit some friends, tell them they can take a pie home or something. Anyways, I'm probably gonna go dethaw the fourth pie that's in our freezer that we still need to eat. I will probably either turn into a pumpkin pie or die of pumpkin consumption by next Friday. But if I am still there, I will see you then.